Google Analytics is essential for any business or website owner wanting to track their traffic and understand their users' behavior. Adding it to WordPress can seem daunting, especially if you're not particularly tech savvy. To add Google Analytics to a website, you must first install tracking code before the closing head tag in the header. But that can be intimidating if you're not a developer or you're not familiar with working with code. Now, that's where Monster Insights comes in. It makes adding Google Analytics to your WordPress site easy because it seamlessly integrates with Google Analytics and you don't have to mess with any code. Plus, it adds crucial tracking features so you can quickly understand how people are using your site. To get started, head to the pricing page and choose the best license level for your tracking needs. Now, once your license is active, download the plugin zip file from your account area. Now you must sign in or sign up for a Google Analytics account. Open the Google Analytics website and click the Sign In to Analytics link or the Start for Free button in the top right corner of the page. Next, if you have an existing Google account, you can log in or you can create a new account by clicking the Create Account link and creating one. If you don't have a Google Analytics account yet, click the Start Measuring button in the next screen. Of course, if you already have an account, you can just skip to the next step. Next, you'll need to enter the account name for your Google Analytics account. You'll also see different data sharing settings. Just make sure that you check all the boxes and then click Next. Now to set up a GA4 property, enter your property name, then choose your time zone and currency, and then click Next. Now fill in the rest of the business information and then scroll down and click Create. Then you may see a pop-up at this point to accept the Google Analytics Terms of Service, so go ahead and check the checkbox and click I Accept. Your next step is creating your data stream. Since you're setting this up for a WordPress website, just click the Web button. Now, just fill in your website's URL and name and click the Create Stream. Now, just go back to your WordPress site and on the admin dashboard, just go to Plugins and then click Add New. And then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. On the next screen, you can click the Choose File button to select the zip file that you just downloaded, or you can drag and drop it here and click the Install Now button to upload the file and install the plugin on your site. Now, once it's installed, you can just click the Activate Plugin button to activate it on your website. Now you'll see the Setup Wizard that'll guide you through the setup process step by step. Now, at first, you'll see the Welcome Monster Insights message and options to choose a category of your site. So select one of the three options that best describes your site, business website, publisher, blog, or e-commerce, and then click the Save and Continue button. Of course, you can choose to skip the setup wizard for now by clicking the Exit Setup button at the top, but we're going to continue our setup. Now, on the next screen, you're going to enter your Monster Insights license key to connect Monster Insights to your site. You can find your license key in your email receipt or the account area on the plugin's website. Now, once you enter your license key, it'll verify your account and then just click the Connect Monster Insights button. Now you're going to see an option to connect Google Analytics with your Monster Insights account. So just select your account. Next, you'll need to allow Monster Insights the proper permissions. After that, you'll need to pick a profile to complete the connection. If you have multiple websites connected to your Google Analytics account, then you'll need to choose the right website property here. OK. Now choose your profile and then click the Complete Connection button. Now you can see some recommended settings. Now this page includes some of the most important settings, such as events tracking, which is enabled by default, enhanced link attribution, also enabled by default, and you'll see file download tracking of things like Docs, EXEs, PDF, PowerPoint, and others. This is also enabled by default. Now as you scroll down, you'll see more settings. So you'll see affiliate link tracking. It has two affiliate link paths added by default, and you can add more if you like. The Access to Monster Insights Reports allows you to choose which user roles can see the Monster Insights Reports. You can enable or disable automatic plugin updates, and there's an option to show the Monster Insights badge in your website's footer. All right, once you've reviewed these settings, just click the Save and Continue button at the end. Now on the next screen, you'll see options for even more tracking options, add-ons, and helpful plugins. To start, you'll see the standard analytics and reports. Now these are the basic reports that you'll see in your WordPress dashboard. The enhanced link attribution 
can help you see where users click on your site. And then there's the all-in-one SEO toolkit, which integrates seamlessly with Monster Insights. And you'll see that there's also Smart Form Builder by WP Forms, the most popular WordPress form builder plugin. Okay, now let's scroll down a little further and you'll find even more options. First, the privacy compliance add-on helps you make Google Analytics more compliant with regulations like GDPR, CCPA, and others. Next is Advanced Reports, which gives access to advanced reports inside Monster Insights, such as search keywords, real-time reports, publishers, and e-commerce reports, and more. Then there's e-commerce tracking, which instantly enables e-commerce tracking on your site. The next on the list is the 20 plus advanced tracking. Now this provides even more advanced tracking such as author tracking, form conversion tracking, scroll tracking, and more. And there's the advanced growth tools, which gives you access to our campaign URL builder, popular post add-on, and A-B testing integration. And last but not least, the media tracking, which enables embedded video tracking so you can see how many times videos were watched, how long they were watched on average, and more. After that, you'll see a new screen with a message that says awesome tracking and analytics are all set up. Now, this means that you've completed the setup process and installed Google Analytics on your WordPress site. This screen also confirms when you'll start seeing your website reports. Depending on the size of your site, it can take between a few hours to 24 hours. Now, before leaving, remember to click the Finish Setup and Exit Wizard button. Now, if you create your own data stream in GA4, instead of letting Monster Insights create one automatically, you'll need to turn off enhanced measurement in Google Analytics. So to do that, go to Admin, next go to Data Streams, then click on your data stream. Now click on the switch to turn off enhanced measurement. After clicking the switch, you're gonna see a message pop up that's gonna ask you if you wanna turn it off. So click Turn Off. Now, your data retention settings will be set to two months by default by Google Analytics. So if you want to be able to use your data in custom reports beyond two months, which most people do, here's how to fix that. First, go to Admin. Next, go to Data Settings, and then to Data Retention. Now, use the dropdown to change your settings to 14 months. And that's it. You've successfully added Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. All right, once you receive data, you're going to see a quick summary of the website's analytic report on the admin dashboard in the Monster Insights widget. To view the complete report, you're just going to need to go to the sidebar and under Insights, click on Reports, and you'll see the Overview report. Then you can view all other reports by clicking on the tabs at the top of the page. So depending on your Monster Insights license level, you'll be able to see things like the Publisher's Report, which gives tons of information about your top landing pages and a lot more. The Console Report shows you what keywords people are using to visit your site. The E-Commerce Report shows you all kinds of data about conversion rate, transaction revenue, and more. The Custom Dimension Report helps you keep tabs on custom dimensions that you've set up. The Forms tab is excellent for seeing your form's impressions, conversions, and conversion rate. The real-time report shows you the activity on your site in real time. The site speed report is great for making sure that your site's running fast. And the media report for seeing video plays, average watch time, and more. And now you know how to add Google Analytics to WordPress using Monster Insights. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. We'll see you next time.